to the back and forth over body cameras in the Boston Police Department. When the idea was first introduced in 2014, Boston Police Commissioner Evans expressed some concerns about people possibly avoiding the police because of the cameras. But in January of 2015, he told us on Boston Public Radio the department hadn't ruled them out. Then last September, he told us here in Greater Boston they would be happening, and he was hopeful trials would start by April. But then a few weeks ago on Herald Radio, Evans said, quote, I am hoping the result is the community can see more or less that we maybe don't need them. Today, Boston's mayor responded to that. I think we can't, you know, I don't know if he misspoke on the radio, but I think we got to be careful with taking his words and, and twist them around. Prior to that statement, he was very supportive of, of looking at the pilot program and, and how the pilot program is carried out in the city of Boston. So I think it's unfair that people are kind of mischaracterizing uh, a statement he made. He's Commissioner Evans joins me now. Good to see you, and Commissioner. Good to see you. Did we mischaracterize yeah, your statement? Yeah, I, I think it was taken out of context What'd of what mean? I said. It, I, I meant that we're going to try the pilot program, and uh, you know, a whole idea of a pilot is look at the pros and cons, Jim, and and, and moving forward with it. And it wasn't that I was against it. Uh, I'm all for it if the public wants it, and I clearly said that on the show. You the know, public at these meetings, you've had community meetings. Yeah, the public has overwhelmingly they do. been in favor they of it, do. right? They do, and that's what I basically said in, uh, to the Herald that day, but they ran with the whole idea that I'm hoping the public doesn't see the need for them, but that's what a pilot is, to see whether it's, you know, but we're going with When's them. this happening? Well, I, I think by, by June we'll have them on. Obviously, we're working with the unions right now. It's not as quick. We're working with the community on when we're going to have them on when we're going to have a moss, and i got to thank uh, Councillor Campbell. She sort of spearheaded all the community yeah. meetings, and we're working with everyone just to get it right, Jim. And is your hope that it does go to a post-pilot phase, meaning if the people of the city yeah, we'll continue definitely to go be with happy it. with it, yeah. it'll become a permanent thing and expand? Yeah, and we'll have to work with the unions, and the mayor's budgeted it, so it's in next year's budget, so we're going to move forward with it. You said that you work with the unions twice. Does that mean the unions are a problem on this thing? No, I, anything we it's a change in working conditions, Jim, we have to negotiate it with them. But are they not crazy about it? Well, obviously, I, I, I don't Doesn't think... Doesn't it help a cop as much as... Yeah, it does. We have nothing to hide, Jim. We really don't. And they do a tremendous job every day. Last, last night, you know, uh, a, an incident. Uh, Dorchester, right? Six people arrested. I think we have four or five guns in one incident. Unbelievable restraint they use. No complaints of Pretty excessive force. Pretty unruly crowd. I've read about it. In they the surrounded them. Too. They were coming at the offices. And that's the challenges we have every day. So, you know... That we have nothing to hide. We'll, we'll do it. We just want to get it right. The mayor call you into the woodshed on that comment? Oh, or no? the mayor's great. Okay, it, fine. It, when you saw this video, which now everybody in America and the world, we'll put it up right now, saw this is obviously in Nashville, New Hampshire. The guy started a uh, high-speed chase in Hol Holden, Massachusetts. Cops following him for more than an hour. What was your reaction when you saw this well, video? Obviously, you know, it was troubling to me. It really was. Uh, you know, I, I didn't see what happened that led up to that, Jim, uh, you know, I, I wasn't up close, but as, as a, a law enforcement official, it's troubling. But I'm sure the colonel will be all over it and look at... You mean number, the state police? The state team, police yeah. colonel will look at it. Uh, I think there's two issues. What, were they justified in the chase and chasing a car for that long? You've got to look at that and obviously the use of force. But I, I hate seeing that because when the public looks at that, we all wear that. You know, you say you don't know what happened before. Is there anything that could have happened before that would justify this? By my no, viewing of no, this thing, he had no weapon. He right. voluntarily no. goes on his no, knees and I, hands. I, I, I'm not saying he's a good right. guy. Cops have their guns drawn and right. they start punching and no. kicking him? Uh, uh, Jim, you know, uh, again, it's very troubling to me. And I'm sure, I hope, if they find that he's responsible, that he's disciplined. But you know what? Nobody likes what they've seen on that camera. Believe me, I don't like it. You know, in the last couple of days, James Comey, who's the head of the FBI, has, in fact, we can put up what he said, uh, talks about what he's calling the viral video effect. Other people are calling the Ferguson effect. What I'm talking about is sort of the viral video effect, changes in the way police may be acting and the way communities may be acting. I think it's the potential effect of marginal pullbacks by lots and lots of police officers that is changing in some cities. He's basically saying there is less aggressive policing, which explains, not here actually, but the spike in crime in a lot of American cities. Right. Do you buy this notion? He's basically, it seems to me, he's saying the fault is on the video. People are taking the videos, right. which to me is surreal. What, right. what do you think about what he said? Well, I, I know I can't speak for Boston. I, I think last year we had a tremendous year. We had a 20-year low in homicides. Uh, our arrests were down. Everything is going in the right direction here. But, you know, what happened in Baltimore, um, you know, and, and what happened in New York and all different places, you know, I think some of the unions... Um, you know, actually got involved, and I don't know whether there was 
uh, you know, don't don't be overly aggressive. So you think that the unions well, may have told their cops well, to be less know. aggressive I, well, doing their jobs? I think they probably told them to be more careful out there in what they're doing just because... Which means don't do your job, well, doesn't it? I, I don't know. I can't speak for them, Jim, but, you know, I, I've read a lot of articles. They call it the Ferguson effect, right. basically, that the cops are doing less because of what happened and they don't want to be prosecuted for what they happened. And that's one of the theories out there. I know i got to speak for most police officers, 99.9 .9 of us do a tremendous yeah. job every day. There's some bad apples like in any profession. One last thing before you go, Commissioner. This, you mentioned this. This high-speed chase that led to this thing, yeah. what is the this guy putting school kids at risk, cops at risk? Right. They had his license plate. Let the guy drive away. Right. Go arrest right. him tomorrow. Is there right. any defense for a high-speed chase well, here? Well, again, we have a strict policy. We would have never, ever let that chase go on. In Boston. Because we're so congested densely populated. We are very strict. Our supervisors, unless that guy had just basically robbed someone with a gun, or we, we, would, we, we call off chases. Uh, you know, there's too many school buses. The city, we don't let chases go on at all. Glad to hear it. Commissioner, it's great to see you Thank as you. always. Thank you so much.